Yeah. So today I'll be doing a demonstration on how to create a simple vacuum using the concept of phase change. Phase change is a concept that involves, in this particular case, a gas going into a liquid. So when you think of a vacuum, uh, normally people think of you know vacuum cleaner, right? But in this case, we're going to be thinking of a vacuum more like in space. We've all seen the movies in space where there's a spaceship and somebody opens the hatch and everything gets sucked up. And that's because there is um, air uh, molecules that create pressure inside of a closed vessel, which in, in that case is a spaceship, and they rush to the uh, area of lower pressure, which in this case is space. There's less molecules in space. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be filling up a wine bottle with a little bit of water. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to swirl that water around, dump it out, and then fill it up again. And what we're going to do then is we're going to assume that all of the air in that bottle has been pushed out by the water vapor. So what that's going to do is it's going to make it to where the only species inside the bottle is the water vapor. And so then what we're going to do is we're going to take this bottle and we're going to invert it over this uh, beaker, and which is filled up to the 250 mark. If we can get a uh, up-close shot of that, please. Thank you. And so what it's going to do is, um, at that point, the heat from the water vapor inside of the bottle is going to move from the high temperature of the bottle to the low temperature of the beaker. And in turn, what that's going to do is it's going to cause all of the gas to condense into the liquid phase, right? And so when we have an absence of gas particles inside the container, it will create a vacuum. And so what you'll actually see is the water will be drawn up into the bottle um, by means of uh, a simple vacuum. So in order to do this experiment, of course, safety equipment required. So what we're going to do first is we're going to rinse the bottle out. You're just going to pour a small amount of boiling water into the bottle. And then you're going to swirl the bottle around, make sure you, you get the water vapor all over the bottle, right? Because we want to push all of the air molecules out. And then you're going to dump it out. And then you're going to fill it up again and swirl it again. And then we're going to take and invert it. So what this does is this just kind of ensures that we're expel expelling all of the air molecules because we want the water to be the major species. That way it can all condense when we put it in the lower temperature water. Alright, so we've got it here, we're swirling it around, so now we're going to take it, <clears throat> take it, and we're going to invert it. And as you can see, the water is actually drawing up into the bottle, and it's not the fastest process, right, because this isn't a, a perfect vacuum, it is a simple vacuum. Um, there's other things we have to take into account, but as you can see, the the water level is rising in the in the bottle and it's lowering in the beaker and so um, we'll leave it here and what, what I'll explain the way this works is the um, when you invert the bottle when you put the bottle into the water like I said before the air the gas particles condense into the liquid phase and so um, the absence of gas particles creates the pressure or the vacuum I'm sorry from the absence of pressure which draws the liquid into the bottle. And so this is a fun neat trick you can use uh, beer bottles work I uh, used a wine bottle here educated guests it's a Napa Valley 2011 cap solve it's really good I do encourage you to try it if you like wine. And so we could let it go and it would continue to go but um, that's pretty much the point and so there you have it that is the concept of a simple vacuum.